We've been studying the impact of tumor size and SPMs uh, in preclinical animal models, and we started with a pancreatic cancer model, and in that model we let the tumors become established at a large size, about 200 to 300 cubic millimeters. And when we start treating with the SPMs, and we've done resolvins of the D series, resolvins of the E series, uh, Marisins, protectins, um, each of them can uh, induce tumor regression where the tumor will start at a size of 200 and 300 cubic millimeters and then disappear after about a four to six week treatment. And uh, that was in a pancreatic cancer model. Uh, in a more aggressive breast cancer model, we prolong survival compared to control um, uh, animals. And we can prolong survival uh, over two to three months after treatment. Yeah, so we have several met metastatic models, and cancer metastases is very important, first of all, because many cancer patients won't die from their primary tumor. They die of the metastasis, which is spread of the tumor cells from the primary tumor. So to mimic that in preclinical models, we have cancer resection models where we remove the tumor, and then about two weeks later, the, the animal will get spontaneous lung metastasis. And in that model, we've studied the impact of SPMs, including resolvin of the D series, resolvin E series, uh, protectins, and marisins. And we've shown now, very exciting, um, we had a publication that just came out in the Journal of Clinical Investigation where if we pre-treat right before surgery two hours with the SPMs, we can prolong uh, survival and uh, up to about 80% in animals so that the tumor won't come back and uh, we will prevent the lung metastasis in that model. And then we've studied metastasis in other models, for example, liver metastasis. Uh, pancreatic cancer commonly metastasizes to the li uh, liver. So we have a, a model where we inject pancreatic cancer cells directly into the pancreas and they get liver metastasis. And we found when we pre-treat those animals with either resolvin E1, resolvin D1, resolvin uh, D4, and even uh, marisins, uh, MCTR1 and 2, and protectins, we can also achieve a reduction in metastasis in, the, in that model. And it's a very aggressive model because um, uh, liver metastasis can be tough to treat. We're very excited about the work on tumor debris because um, one of the big problems in cancer therapy over the past hundred years is standard cancer therapy, which includes chemotherapy, radiation, targeted therapy, immunotherapy now, um, they all generate debris. Chemotherapy, radiation directly kill the tumor cells and induce tumor cell death, and so will directly induce debris. Surgery can also induce cell death we call it apoptotic cell debris. And actually immunotherapy, which the Nobel Prize was just awarded this past year for, um, indirectly induces cell death. And antiangiogenic therapy indirectly induces cell death. So every cancer therapy uh, over the past 100 years induces cell death or debris. And there's been no current therapy either in cancer or anti-inflammatories that have been designed to clear debris. So we're very excited with the SPMs because the impact of SPMs is they are designed to clear debris. They stimulate the resolution inflammation, which is entirely different from standard anti-inflammatories over the years, such as steroids or non-steroidals, um, standard anti-inflammatory drugs, um, neutralizing antibodies to pro-inflammatory cytokines. Um, all of those traditional methods do not clear debris. And every cancer patient that gets surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, or targeted therapy uh, will, somewhere in their tumor microenvironment, may have uh, debris. So it's a very urgent need to uh, develop methods to clear debris. And that's why we're excited about the SPMs, because they're designed to clear debris. And not only clearing debris, but another problem is we found that the debris 
induces a cytokine storm um, from the um, immune cells in the body. And that cytokine storm generates eight or nine potently protumorigenic cytokines, which are called interleukins or TNFs. And the current anti-cancer therapy is to design a neutralizing antibody to one of those factors and then test that in patients. But the really um, challenge in cancer therapy is that the tumor, by getting the therapy, um, will generate 10 to 20 different pro-inflammatory cytokines, and we call that a cytokine storm now. And to block that cytokine storm, instead of using an individual neutralizing antibody, SPMs can also uh, prevent that cytokine. We call it the cytokine storm. And so not only do SPMs clear debris, which is causing the tumor to come back from therapy, cancer therapy, but they can prevent that cytokine storm and prevent over a series of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Um, so we're very excited about the approach with SPMs to current cancer therapies.